Today for the first time in forever it feels like we are going to be attempting to fish the beach and we are also going to be testing out this thing's beach ability. I'm not sure if this is going to be able to uh, scoot on the sand and it is starting to uh, rain here. These tires are slightly thick. I'm thinking we should be pretty good. They're kind of like deflated as well. So we'll see if this works out. We got two rods with us. We stopped at the tackle shop before we came out today. We got some shrimp in there and also you can see swimming around some mud minnows. Got a bit of a ways to go. How's it going? Oh, really? Yeah. All right, we just got dumped on. If you're new here, this is my scoot. I had a foot injury and it's probably like 80 something percent healed. I'm not trying to be on it too, too much. So we're gonna be trying to scoot. You never know, like if somebody's here for the first time, they're gonna be like, what the heck is this guy doing? All right, this actually, this actually works. It's not super soft sand. All right, well that actually worked a little bit. Once we got towards like the water and the sand got a little bit more firm, it was really good. We were freaking scooting, man. So this is the beach we're gonna be fishing today. I don't know if you guys can really see, there's a lot of people out here who are uh, shark tooth hunting. I just, uh, I miss coming out to the beach. Now this is not like the beach beach. We don't have to deal with like super soft sand here. And you know, there's not big waves and stuff. This is like uh, not the ocean beach, if that makes any sense. But here we go, we got everything pretty much set up here. So this is a jetty and the tide is going out this way. So if you guys can kind of see right around here, that's where we're gonna be throwing our bait. That's where hopefully there's going to be some fish hanging out, waiting for bait or whatever, just to drift on by. Smoke it. Again though, I just cannot overstate how excited I am to be back out on a beach. Like it's been a long freaking time. Man. And again, we're doing it the smart way, not trying to overload the foot, got somewhere to sit, and you know, we don't have to do too much walking. We're trying to heal this thing once and for all. So let me go into this bucket real quick. Oh my gosh, dude, that is a big old freaking shrimp. We are going to grab One of these juicy mud minnows. Got a little circle hook down there. Goes to a swivel. And then that goes to this little, what is this? One and a half ounce egg weight. Basically, we're just trying to see what is around. Again, it's nice that we have different options bait wise. And I mean, during this time of the year, I honestly have no clue what could be over here. In different times of the year, we were catching flounder over here right in this little current break at this tide. I don't think I've ever fished here this early into the year. Again, this is salt water, so really anything could possibly be possible. You don't know if you don't know, you know? Redfish, trout, could be flounder. Who the freak knows, man? I've seen tarpon out here before. All right, let me try to cast that out a little bit further without getting into the rocks. Okay, that should be actually pretty good. I know around this time of the year, there's, there's like trout everywhere. Be cool to catch one of those, especially the keeper. Those are some tasty fish. It's been a long time since we caught a keeper trout. We'll see, man. This is the fun part. You just never know. Oh my All right, so we switched sides on the jetty. Now we are also going to be trying to throw this in. Oh, it's about to rain again. Dude, we are getting wet today, dude. So this is what we got. Um, this is just a rig we've been using. And a lot of the recent videos, this is a pompadour rig with a float there and then a float on the bottom. And we just have a little pyramid sinker at the end. So we're going to chuck this out. Dude, we are getting so wet today. Let's chuck that in a little closer to shore. And I, before anybody says it, I know we got to re-spool this reel. I know. Dang, these are fat raindrops. Gosh, what just happened? All right, y'all, we've been out here for a long time. I'm honestly, I'm chilly, man. It's a little cold. Oh, geez. Just fell into a hole. That was like the first bite we've really got. And we've kind of bopped around a little bit. Came back over here, and I'm just barely casting out, and we got smacked. I, I just wish we got, I, I want to know what that was. The tide is like real low now. This rod's got the shrimp on it. Right, get that a little closer too. Come on. 
Oh, that sun came out now too. When it goes away, it's pretty chilly, man. We've been touching the water and we get the bait, so my hands are like kind of wet. Plus, we got soaked. That breeze is breezing. That was a real solid bite too. I, that could have been a flounder, but I think if that was a flounder and I threw it back out there, it would just eat it again. What? I was literally just reeling this in. I was like, oh, there's nothing on here. What the heck? It's a nice little snapper. Definitely not 10 inches, but shoot. First fish of the day. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, so uh, rain and camera gear don't mix. My microphone got broken here. Listen to this. Kind of sounds like popcorn or like fireworks. Anyway, a little bit after that catch, we caught a tiny sea bass as well. I was kind of surprised this thing ate a mud minnow. All right, so this is actually a pretty big deal. We are out on the beach beach. This is the actual ocean. We got the actual soft sand. This is a big step, not only for a fishing person as myself, but as a recovering foot person, we're gonna try to take it easy today and not really hurt the foot. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. It's really cold. It's windy, the sun's not out, but I honestly have not fished the beach beach in months. We were hitting it pretty hard when it was like warm outside months ago. We're gonna try to figure out today, are there fish still at the beach? There's two things I think we might possibly get into, but it's the ocean. You never freaking know what you could possibly catch. We are gonna see what we could do, man. Oh, it's bright out here. Whew. All right, it feels good to be back out here, man. It has been a while, and that just means we are also one step closer to getting back into the kayak. We'll see how we do today, but we are going to be using two different setups, and we stopped at the tackle shop, and again, as always, we got some freaking nice shrimp, man. Y'all smell that? salty air y'all y'all feel the freaking breeze man that is chilly i'm not gonna lie like last night dude it got to like freezing temperatures north florida man it gets freaking cold i know it's it's still florida and like you know in your brain everybody's like oh florida it's warm there all the time you guys can see i'm wearing like my winter freaking stuff so this is the first rig we're gonna be running this is a sputnik sinker it looks kind of crazy but this is what i found to be the most effective just for like holding the bottom these things kind of stick into the sand and then when you reel it in you just kind of like pull it and these all do hold on they do this and then you can just bring it back up to shore but this is how you set it up to fish out there we got that tied to a leader and this is just a basic high low rig that i tied we're just going to put some shrimp on there and see what the heck could possibly bite this again man this is i mean you never know oh this is the ocean chuck it out right there Hoping we have some better luck than uh, the other beach that we went to. Because that was not very productive. We were there for a long time. I got freaking drenched. And it was nippy that day as well. Yeah, we really did not catch much of anything the other day. All right, now rod two. This is where things are going to get a little interesting. We're going to hook the shrimp through the horn. They're still alive, bouncing around. That's like a one ot, I believe, circle hook. Goes to just the fish finder rig. So we got a little swivel right here. I don't always use these, but I need to start using them more. This is a uh, sinker slider. And we just got a four ounce Searman sinker on there. We'll see if that works. I need to start, like one of you guys suggested this in the last video, and I really do need to start doing this. A lot of people put beads right here in between uh, the swivel and this, so it doesn't bang it and mess up the knot. I need to start doing that. I've been sleeping on the beads, man. Oh, all right, we're just gonna chuck that right out there. So we got one lively shrimp. Never know what could possibly bite that. I just don't know if anything will since it's so freaking cold out, man. I don't know. All right. We'll see if this uh, pyramid sticker actually holds too. This is a little bit of a sneaky tide. It's coming in right now, but it's kind of, I don't know if you guys can see, it's really bouncing our tips around. We should know if we get a bite though. It's like, you know, whew. It's one of those days where you put your hand in the bait bucket water and then you got it out and it's just like, you know. I tell you, man, it's been chilly. I know some of you guys, you know, do the ice fishing stuff and you guys are way more hardcore than I am. Let's see if we got bait. It's still got bait on there. See, this is one thing we don't want to see though. I'm not a fan of this stuff. All right, 
still got a shrimp on there. Let's try to cast this out. Try a little bit closer into shore. There's two different fish, as I said, that I think possibly might be around. Right, there you go. One is whiting, but it's kind of different around this time of year. I've heard that, you know, it's not just whiting, it's big whiting. So we'll see if we can hook any of those. Those are some tasty freaking fish, man. You guys know that. We've cooked them a lot. We've done some stuff before, but I would love to catch a big one. I mean, regardless, I would just like to catch a whiting. And also, if you guys saw the last video, we went to the pier. There are some sharks around, but not just any sharks, man. Bonnethead sharks, which supposedly are the pretty freaking good eating. It's interesting, they eat shellfish and uh, shrimp are definitely on the menu for them. So we'll see if any of them are around as well. It's kind of like, honestly, like sharky conditions, if you ask me. Rained a ton the past couple days. It's been windy, the water's murky. Just looks sharky, so we'll see if we can hook anything. So far, no bite, <laughs> not even freaking nibble. Four ounce pyramid seems to be doing its job. You always gotta look at the bright side, you know what I'm saying? The sinkers are working, very nice. It's just the thing about fishing though, man. I mean, you can call them a day like this, not really much hitting right now. Next thing you know, freaking giant bull red or freaking huge pompano or, what's the fun of it, man? The mystery. Detective first date is gonna figure out what's going on down there. I have to check these baits in a little bit. Whew. All right, well, we were missing one shrimp off this bigger rig. Just rebaited it. We're going to chuck this back out here. I do see a spot that looks pretty interesting, so we might head over there in a second. Let's see if that was a fish that bit this off real quick, though. Or if uh, just Mother Nature. Oh! Also, no shrimp on this route either. Hold on. What's going on? We getting messed with or? Whew, just gotta have patience on a day like today, man. Remember the other day, we were at the uh, fishing bridge. You know, nothing's really going on. Nobody's really catching anything. All you need is a little bit of patience and boom. Caught a pretty nice freaking fish, man. That was a tasty one too. Oh, geez. Sometimes it's about being in the right place at the right time. Sometimes you gotta wait for the right time. philosophical first state. One thing I think that's really important when you're trying to find the fish especially and just see what's around is cast at different you know, depths. The big rod we got out a bit further and this one's a little bit closer to shore. Sometimes man these whiting in certain times of the year that they'll be like really close up to shore. We've caught them like a few feet like offshore and one thing I just noticed too I don't like the look of that. That is like a big storm. I don't know if that's coming this way or not but that that's looking wet, dude. I'm honestly wondering if since it is kind of, uh, you know, not the best clarity, I wonder if we should have put those like neon floats on here, like a pompano rig or something, so maybe stuff could see the shrimp on our right rod. I don't really exactly know what I'm doing. I haven't really fished this area this time of year, <laughs> to be honest. All right, well, good news. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, that big old storm cloud looks like it went out to sea. I just, I can't believe something hasn't even nipped one of these yet. Especially with like two different style baits, two different style rigs, two different areas we're fishing in the water. This is our second spot. Another day, another dollar, another shrimp. That one's a little bit more lively. We need all the help we can get. Uh, all right. 
We'll try that. Hold up. Can we get something on here? Hold on. Hold the phone. This was moving interestingly. Honestly, I don't know, I can't tell. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, baby. There we go. Okay, on the board. First fish of the day. Is this a sign of what is to come? Now, this is not. Alright, look. I'm happy with catching anything, especially right now when things have been going pretty darn slow. But that is. That is not too big. I will freaking take it though, man. Not too bad. I mean, not, you know, not big. The interesting thing too about whiting is that depending on like where you live, these things have so many different names. I think in Delaware, we call these kingfish, which is funny because like down here, kingfish are like, you know, the big kingfish, the one that we caught at the pier. I remember when I was fishing the Carolinas, people were fishing for these and they call these like mullet, like sea mullet. We're gonna keep this dude. We might catch a cook him. I'm, I'm hoping to catch a bigger one, but these are also really good bait for other different species of fish as well. So we're gonna keep this dude and we're gonna throw some shrimp back out there and see what else we can freaking get, man. That's a good feeling though. First fish, we rig this back up, keep it on the top hook. That's one of the nice things about circle hooks. So I wasn't really paying attention to this rod to be honest basically designed i want to put two pieces of shrimp on that oh we got to fix the sputnik but yeah this hook is designed to uh get them in the corner of the mouth and just have the fish hook themselves especially with the sputnik this thing is down there like it's legit like an anchor so if fish comes oh i just hooked myself fish comes munches this and tries to run away they're really not going to take this sinker anywhere so they're going to try to run this is going to get stuck in the corner of the mouth and I just barely saw, I mean, that wasn't a big one. The tip of our rod was just like, ding, 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 ding. Kind of cast that in the same area. Hey man, nothing big, but what do we say? Patience. All right, if y'all could keep an eye on my rods for a second, I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite parts of the fishing day and just day in general. Fishing snack of the day. As always, if you guys have any fishing snacks that I should check out, let me know down in the comment section below. Today, this is one of my favorites, all right? Kelsey and I shop at Aldi a good amount. If you guys have ever had these, this is a fruit strip. These things, man. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Why is this one like that get bit? It's so hard to tell sometimes with the wind and the tide. This is really moving a lot more than it looks like. Mm. I'm interested, man. Definitely let me know if you guys have been having uh, any luck in fishing wherever you guys are and like what kind of fishing have you been doing all right well what's kind of interesting is from my experience these whiting are usually in schools where well, there's one there's usually more homie might have been solo dolo out here all right I'm not even gonna lie, dude. This is, <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. It's not the hottest fishing right now, weather-wise and just like, I mean, you throw a fresh shrimp out there, a lot of the times in Florida, from my experience, like good things are gonna happen. Hey man, we are trying our best. Sometimes it's all you can do. Chuck that right there, see if anything's up close. We are gonna fish every last shrimp that we got in that bucket. First date taco night. All right, y'all, so 
We've got some ground turkey. She's just about cooked. Now what Chef First State's going to do is discard of this. Not throw it away, but we're done using it. Dude, I, so many times I see people, let me know if you're one of these people that like, when you start cooking with meat and you're like touching the raw meat with this, and then you like are still touching the cooked meat with this and then you eat it. Dude, I don't know. I don't know how y'all don't get sick, man. It freaks me out. So yeah, man, it is taco night. It's been a little chilly. We can use some tacos to warm ourselves up. And then we also are gonna make a whiting taco that we just caught. That's gonna be the special taco. A lot of you guys might not know this, but I'm a taco guy. I eat tacos at least once every week, if not once every two weeks. We're just gonna throw a taco seasoning packet in, ranch packet in. Trust me, it might sound a little weird, but this is freaking fire. Put some water in there as well. It's just one of those quick meals, you know. Sometimes, you know, we go a little fancy. I've made tacos from scratch and, you know, a bunch of different seasonings and stuff. Sometimes, you know, a simple recipe isn't the worst thing in the world. I'm not joking when I say I use this stuff on literally everything, man. If you guys have not tried static seasoning, link down in the description below. We're already working our way through this bottle. I've been through a couple bottles. Now, I'm actually kind of excited for this. I've never tried these before. I've always wanted to try it. This is just like Doritos Locos taco shells, but like old Paso brand. I don't know. I feel like I might get some like people. You, some people are like, dude, why are you eating that? Taco meat cheddar is better. Then he falls on the floor. Camper, this is like his favorite food ever. So. Boom. Sometimes, you know, we get a little crazy, throw some green Cholula in there or something. Onions, tomatoes, all that stuff. We're just going to go super basic. Why does my head look like blue, dude? I mean, come on, man. You can't go wrong. All right, cleaned up the pan. I'm not going to lie, man. I think I've been sleeping. Those shells are really freaking good. We're just going to boom. Oh, well, here he is to clean up all the cheese. There he is. Thank you, sir. Oh boy, it's flaking apart in the pan, but that is it, man. When life gives you a little whiting, you know what time it is, man. Cheesy taco time. I mean, look, not the most fish in there, but we're just role playing as Taco Bell right now. They never fill crap up anyway, do they? No offense, Taco Bell. Cheese, white meat. Whiting is a fire fish. I mean, just in this cheesy cheese, it's freaking really, really good, too. All right, well, I'm gonna enjoy this stuff. Again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. We're gonna be doing some traveling, as I said, so hopefully fishing should pick up. But sometimes this just happens, man. Sometimes, you know? You get wet, or it's slim pickings. I mean, you really just never know what is gonna happen. But again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support, man. All I gotta say is, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know this well?